In this video today, I'm going to speak about the PhD research proposal and give you a timeline of day one up until the end of that proposal and you can start doing some research. So from day one to PhD, you're going to be doing a lot of reading. For the first few months of my PhD, I was sat at my desk and reading so many journal articles, trying to absorb all the information in order to get my ideas together. So that did involve a lot of time on the likes of Google Scholar and PubMed. And during the opening stage, you're going to be networking a lot as well. So for example, my PhD was in football and I spent a lot of time communicating with people that worked in professional football so I can give their opinion on the quality of the studies I was thinking of doing. So I did spend a lot of time on Skype at the same time as reading all my papers on Scholar as well. So that's the first three months. I'm then starting to put a draft together of the studies I have in mind. And this is something you share with your supervisors. For me, I had about 10, 11 studies in the first three or four months. It's down to the supervisor then to assess the quality of those and give you feedback on which studies can work and which studies maybe don't quite fit the narrative of your PhD. Some of the feedback's good. Some of the feedback isn't so good. But what I'll recommend to you guys is don't take it personally. Your supervisor's there for a reason. They're trying to make sure you're on the right track and you're learning throughout the process. And then the next stage after five, six months is to present. So you're going to present this PhD proposal to your supervisors. Each presentation is different. Sometimes it can be really formal at some universities and other times it can be quite informal. Mine was very informal and it consists of a 20 minute presentation where I outlined all my studies. It went from 10 down to five and I took questions from the audience as well. Some of these presentations at universities are just with the supervisors. Other ones are open invitation. Mine was open invitation had about 25 people in the room, therefore there was more discussion and it's something I preferred. And then there'll be some more tweaks after that little discussion after your proposal. Uh, then hopefully you'll then get the green light. If you're happy, if your supervisors are happy and the studies are feasible, you're going to get that green light and you can start doing some research. And if you'd like to learn more about the process of your research during a PhD, click on the link above now. Okay, so to summarize, what I say to you is each PhD is different. I've given you a timeline. It's not to say it will be exactly the same as what I went through, but they will share similar principles. You are going to do a lot of reading. It is beneficial if you reach out to other people and get different opinions to formulate your study ideas. And what I suggest more in the now is be curious. Learn from other people. If you're thinking of doing a PhD, speak to current students. What are they going through? What are the pros and cons? And also speak to people that have finished a PhD as well and get their opinion too. Okay, so that was my very short video on completing a PhD proposal. If you'd like to learn more, if you want some feedback on your own proposal, you're not quite sure what you're doing, you can get in touch at Sports Science Hacks on Instagram and at CJThompson90 on Twitter. Okay, thank you for listening and I'll speak to you again soon.